everyone. Welcome to my newest video. I have just in the new Cherry Lynn Design dies. And these dies are strictly cutting. There's no embossing, but there's lots of lines and dots and um, filigree type things in them that give the illusion of it being embossed when it's uh, cut. So what I'm saying is you don't have to get a special uh, embossing mat and run it through again. Just the one cut or maybe two um, if it's an intricate die it needs to go through twice. But no, no having to uh, drag out your embossing pad and doing that. I do recommend with these dies the Cuddle Hug metal cutting adapter plates that go with the Cuddle Bug. Uh, I think they also advertise that they go with the Big Shot. But they really help get a clean, crisp die. And the first one I'm showing here is S114. Um, that's 5.5 by 7 and a 3 quarters inches. And the next one is S113. That's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches. And they're metal kind of, they're very thin, so they make a nice shim. Um, but they're they're sturdy and they're, they're with, these are mine. These are the ones I've been using. You can see they look in pretty good shape. So the first day, die I have for you is B117. It's Fancy Full Flourish. It's four and a half by four inches. And it makes this beautiful flourish die. And you can see here. And you can see how these cutting lines look embossed, but they're not. And it's just the cut into the die. And it's a very nice flourish. I've had lots of requests for this one. Um, so I suspect that might be my my big seller. And there's a nice contrast to show it to you on dark paper. Okay. Now I'm going to go with my next one here is B118. And it's a set of two dies in their ferns. And they give you two so you can make them uh, opposite ways. And that's kind of nice because sometimes when you're cutting the dies, you want the die to go in a different direction, and it can't. It can only go in one direction. But with this die, you can see here's the one, and then here's the other that goes in the opposite way. And these, this would just be so beautiful for um, floral, your floral dies, or any kind of um, kind of extension on any kind of a floral rubber stamp or anything just to kind of do it with that that truly is a lovely um, set. Reminds me, I'm from New Hampshire and we have ferns growing all over the place just just kind of wild and that's what this dye reminds me of the ferns we have growing there. Okay, the next set is something I'm a little less uh, knowledgeable about knowledgeable about is it's B119 and it is the tropical leaves and this set is a set of five small dies that well they're various sizes and they're um, they go from about two and five eighths to smaller and these make there's a pack you can kind of see them in there and these make these really fun, and I'll go from big to small. Here's this um, kind of a, reminds me kind of like a rhododendron leaf. And then the next one, I'm not even going to try to guess what these are, but this one's kind of nice with how they do the cutting, and you can see the veins in there. And then the next one is this one right here. And then we have this die right here. I'm going to go a little bit above there. And then the last one is this one right there. So there are your set of the five leaves. Um, this one I always think of when you see the monkeys. They always seem to put that kind of a leaf around it. And all of these would just be beautiful. To put a floral in the center of this one, these would just be beautiful accents to any of your florals. Um, you know, so what if you have a daisy or something or a rose and you put these leaves on? And let, don't, don't send those to a botanist, that's all. But they are beautiful, beautiful leaves. Okay, 
the next one that I have is this die um, is DL110 and it's four and one quarter by four and one quarter and it is the uh, uh, Heartland American Large die. And this die, uh, it has, uh, it cuts out, and uh, it's two dies. And one is this plain heart right here. And um, let me pan out a little bit. It's this plain heart right here. And with this plain heart, you get the next set of it. It cuts out is this. And it, why? They did this, it can be, you could put your designs in there or sentiments in there, but the other pieces uh, come out separate. And what they did with this die is when they, here's the die set itself, this die has that plastic shims on it. And I have decided that I don't like the plastic shims. Um, they're, they're hard for me to work with. The, uh, you can't really use the metal plate well with them. and. I'm not sure. I think the reason they put they, they put all the holes in the die, like for you to pop out the bits of paper, but then they um, put that plastic shim on, so you really can't get the paper out. So they got this design here showing you to whack it against a garbage can to get the pieces out, and that does indeed work. But that shim, I think you get crisper cuts without that plastic shim. But the reason I think they put it on is to attach to the die, the the pieces that also cut out. I'm going to be adding these as I'm, as I'm talking here. And I think that's why they did it. So you could have these extra pieces and they're attached and they don't, um, they're, they stay nicely spaced. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. And then I'm just adding these pieces so you can kind of see here how they go in to make a nice lace doily if you put them all together. You'll have the doily kind of like how we're used to seeing doilies. And then you can add or subtract as you want. And then, of course, um, that's kind of how it looks finished. Of course, you could always just have the pieces and use those for other things, too. Because the, in themselves, they're beautiful, too. Now, on his video, he, uh, the Cherry Lynn Designs video, they mentioned about um, how people could possibly paper embroider in these uh, fine squares. I, I think that would be very difficult unless you have a very tiny, tiny, tiny needle. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but I'd just say it's not typically the whole size holes we're used to when we paper embroider. So I just wanted to clarify that. If anyone does that, uh, send it my way. I'd love to see it. The next set of dies are butterflies. Yep, they'll fly out of here, so get them while, while you can. DL112, a set of three dies. They're very tiny. And here's what these little guys look like. There's one. There's the other. And there's the third one right there. And you can see how pretty those are. Let me put those on contrasting paper for you so you can get another feel for the color. They are so intricate and just so pretty. You, I think but, uh, you butterfly people really like those. And then the next one is another set of three butterflies. DL113, a little bit bigger. And I'm going to show you these quickly. I did these all in purple. There's one, two, and there's the third one. And you can see just how beautiful these are. I mean, can't get much nicer butterflies than that. And then the last one I'm going to do on the black, it is DL114 right here. And it's a single die. And I did him up in yellow. And on the black, that'll look really nice. And you can see he's bigger. Beautiful, beautiful dies. Please visit my blog for pricing. You will not be disappointed with these dies. They are the same quality as of the doily dies. They're fabulous designs. I think you will enjoy all of them. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week. And until next weekend, 
See ya.